Today, we will talk about 7 ways to retire as a millionaire. After spending most of my 20s making a mess of my finances, I've worked overtime to clean up my act in my early 30s so far. I've started saving for retirement, putting cash into an emergency fund, investing in index funds, and sticking to a strict budget. I've also found myself obsessed with trying to retire before I'm 50 and as a millionaire, since I'm less than 16 years away from that time and my net worth is nowhere near seven figures, I'm actively doing what I can now to make that goal happen. Even though I'm investing, saving, and working on bringing in new income streams to grow my net worth, I'm scared of something unplanned happening that will push me further from my overall plan. In order to make sure I'm managing as much risk now as possible, here's what financial planners say I need to consider if I want to retire early as a millionaire. 1. Continue to diversify my portfolio. Investing in index funds, individual stocks, and cryptocurrency is only something I started to do a few years ago. As I continue to grow my investment portfolio, financial planner Evan Mendrin says that it's a good idea to diversify my portfolio even further to help with risk. Concentration drives wealth building, and diversification helps protect it, says Mendrin. It usually takes a concentration in your career or investments to build enough wealth for early retirement. Putting all of your time to be the best in one profession or benefiting from company stock options. 2. Address any debt. As I work hard to save and invest, one thing that could get in the way of my millionaire retirement plan is taking on too much debt. Financial planner Jay Zygmunt says that if you can pay off all of your debt, including your house, then retiring early becomes much easier since you can put more of your income into investments. 3. Secure the right insurance. When planning for the future, it's easy to forget what we need right now to handle any potential financial emergencies, which is why Zygmunt says it's so important to make sure you have the right insurance in place. Many people do not think about insurance until they need it, which may be too late, says Zygmunt. Make sure you have appropriate coverage on your home and cars, including an umbrella policy. Make disability and health insurance a priority. By the time you reach 50, either have a plan for long-term care out of your retirement funds or a long-term care insurance policy in place. 4. Have three different kinds of investment accounts. In addition to diversifying investments, financial planner Lauren Anastasio says you can reduce the risk associated with changes in the tax code which will undoubtedly occur between now and your retirement by having investments in three different types of accounts, taxable, tax-deferred, and tax-free growth. A taxable account is one that is not designated for retirement, like a personal brokerage account, which you can make penalty-free withdrawals from at any time, says Anastasio. A tax-deferred account is one that often receives tax-deductible contributions, but taxable withdrawals during retirement like a pre-tax 401 or traditional IRA. A tax-free growth account would be a Roth 401, Roth IRA, or HSA. This strategy allows you to pick and choose which accounts you draw from before and during your retirement to maximize your income, reduce your tax burden, and ensure continued growth of your money. Working with a tax advisor can help you be strategic about when and from which account to pay yourself in retirement to vastly reduce your tax bill, Anastasio adds. 5. Don't spend more as you make more as you get closer to retirement or you find yourself in a position of making more money, financial planner Charles A. Thomas Idoe says to beware of lifestyle inflation. Since it's a risk that can throw your plans off track, when you get a raise at work, it's tempting to spend that raise on a more comfortable lifestyle, says Thomas. Instead, think about how part of your increased salary can be saved or used to pay down some debt. Over time, the habit will get easier and you'll still have a comfortable lifestyle. 6. Delay gratification We can learn lessons from earlier generations who knew how to pile up savings. They lived a lifestyle founded on delayed gratification. They reused items, repaired that old car, may do with what they had and banked cash. Our grandparents did have a much better handle on where their money was going every month, says Pamela Yellen, author of The Bank on Yourself Revolution. But they didn't have credit cards, ubiquitous ATMs, 
and constant promotional messages telling them they had to have this or that to be happy, respected, or popular. That messaging has made delayed gratification a lost art. If you fail to put aside your investment money first, there will always be something that seems urgent and crowds out your savings, DeJong says. The inducements to buy are non-stop and very effective. But those on their way to becoming millionaires know delaying gratification can still be gratifying. Watching your savings grow can be very rewarding, Yellen says. You don't feel deprived, she says. Your life is actually enriched. 7. Pay attention to taxes and fees. Those who become millionaires often invest in a tax-advantaged accounts, such as a workplace pension. You fund these accounts with pre-tax pounds, thereby lowering the taxes you'll pay that year. HNRC is letting that investment grow with taxes deferred until you withdraw the money at retirement, says David Rozo, president of Rozo Wealth Management and author of Failure is Not an Option, Creating Certainty in the Uncertainty of Retirement. Another option, investing in an ISA with earnings that have already been taxed so you can enjoy tax-free compounding and withdrawals. Be sure to pick funds with low fees. Actively managed mutual funds and exchange-traded funds sport an asset-weighted average expense ratio of 0.63%. Asset-weighted simply means larger, more popular. Funds are given more weight in the calculation. Meanwhile, index funds and passive EDFs cost just 0.16%, according to investment research firm Morningstar. The difference affects an investor's return and can make an enormous difference at retirement, Rosal says. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. Before you go, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.